Uh oh, we got, you, we got you sideways. Hello, hello. Let's turn you around. There we go. Yeah. What up? What up? What's up? What's up? Welcome, welcome. Okay, now um, that shirt is so fly. Mm -hmm. Ain't it, girl? Look at it. Man, I need to get me one for real. <laughs> I love it. What's up? I love what the blend. Up? Oh, rocking some braids now. I love it. I love it. Oh, you see them? They look fresh. Yeah, I like it. Hey, I had them in for a while, so I got to get them redone, to be honest with you. I tried to revamp them up for the interview. I'm going to be honest. Nice. <laughs> I was putting oil and do rag on them. Like, turn around. Turn, let me, let me, turn around. Let me see the back. Okay. 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 Flat. <laughs> nice. 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 So, Rolanda, where you get your braids done at? Um, my stylist name is Janice Bearfield. She's in Joliet, Illinois. So, shout out to her. Yeah, she's, she's amazing. She's amazing. You hook me up every time. Every Hello, time. Quick look, quick look. And if I ever, if I ever move, I probably fly all the way out here just to get my braids done. It's that bad. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's loyalty right there. It is loyalty. <laughs> sure. Ain't nothing wrong with that, though. Ain't nothing <laughs> wrong with that. Well, I'm so glad you were able to join us today. I'm the guest co-host, Marquita, and you're on the scene with Brandon Smith, everybody. For those of you who just tuned in, we are now joining this amazing man. So before we get into everything, I do want to give everybody a quick introduction of who you are, Okay. Okay. All right. So this guest tonight made his first acting debut in the music video Wicked in 2013. Born in 1988, he went to become an occupational therapist to help heal people. While earning a degree in healthcare, he appeared in over 20 plus different films, music videos, commercials, and print ads for Gary Popcorn and the local coffee shop ads to award-winning short films. With his most recent appearance in the White People Money, directed by our guy, Mark Harris, and starring Drew Sador and Barton Fitzgerald, he's on a promising track to become a well-rounded actor. His most notable role in Peace of David shows his vast emotional range. Brandon is also a content creator with his very own online series launching this May. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. So last welcome, Brandon Smith to On the Scene with Marble Foster and me, Marquita Spears. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. So I know for you guys, my camera is moving all over the place. I'm not drunk. I just need to keep <laughs> it on the charger. <laughs> Because I do have my wine here, but trust me, it is not for reasons. Oh, that's my phone is like rubbing me. <laughs> I got my Cooper's hot tonight. You know, yes, I love, it. I love it. I love it. I'm a big yeah. wine drinker as well. Yeah. I'm stuck on this um the Stella Blueberry. It's cheap wine, but it's good because I'm not a heavy drinker. So for me, some people think that's probably like I don't know a chaser for them, but for me, that's, that's perfect for me. <laughs> I don't, no, I, don't. I actually drink that myself. I like Stella Rosa. Um, I had that on National Wine Day when we were interviewing someone. See? I had that one. I like the blueberry brand. See, me too. I think it's real good. I mean, you know, I, I'm not bougie. Well, sometimes. <laughs> but, <I> guess, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I mean I'm not a heavy drinker, so that, that one's good for me. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's a good one. You know, too bad you don't have any right now. No, I know. I did pick some. The funny thing is, I picked some up on the way here um, today, and I, I left it in the trunk because I, I feel like it's still kind of cold outside a little bit. So I still <laughs> use the outside to refrigerate just a little bit. So, uh, but when we wrap up, though, I know I'm going straight to the trunk. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. You could have, man. You could have brought it with you, but that's okay. We still gonna have a good time. Amen. Amen. And we're gonna learn a lot about you because I know a lot of people are dying to know who Brandon Smith is. Uh, Man, and I'm we're about to find out. Yeah, find so out. yeah, let's do it right now. I'm talking about right now. So, Brandon, we know you're in Chicago, and you've done a, 
uh, quite a few things in life. But before you got to the acting and all of the other things, let's tell the people about the beginning. Where are you from? your family life, and how you began on the journey of acting and more things. All right, cool. I like that. Well, I'm from Joliet, Illinois. I love that town. Um, that's where I grew up at. It wasn't until like uh, my college years that I moved actually to the city of Chicago. So um, I'm mm-hmm. from Chicago, which is a smaller town in Illinois. A lot of people are familiar with it. Some people aren't. Um, mm-hmm. A town full of talented people. A lot of talent in that town. Um, in Joliet, excuse me, I'm sorry. You say in Joliet, a lot of talented people there. Oh yeah, a lot of athletic, <laughs> talented people in Joliet. It, it, it's not getting the shine it needs to, but mm-hmm. it's there. It's definitely there. So, um, I in high school I played basketball. Basketball is like my heart and soul. Okay, and uh, I would take drama classes when I was in high school, but then when mm-hmm. I went to college. Um, I, it hit me like, well, I, I don't think I'm going to the NBA. So, mm-hmm. um, let me go ahead and just step aside to the drama world. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I ended up getting my first little manager in Chicago. Uh, yeah, Chicago. Um, I took a mm-hmm. couple of acting classes in, um, college, uh, tried mm-hmm. to do a little theater. I didn't too much like theater, didn't grasp for me the most. I ended up trying to do a little bit of, um, ads and modeling at the time um this is, i'm not a big fan of being a model but no. uh, it was something i wanted to do at the time when i was in my 20s mm-hmm. uh, early 20s so when i did that i discovered um on camera acting mm-hmm. i felt like i bonded with it better i felt like uh, for some reason watching movies that you could to see like 10 different sides of people like if i want to work on that and show people a different side of me and bring that character to life, I could do that. So mm-hmm. I, I like that aspect of it. So I chose to go that route. Um, mm-hmm. As I went on that route, I took on commercials and print ads while I was doing that. So that was pretty much how I got into it. I still play basketball. I still try to stay in shape. I still try to run. I mean, I'm not yeah. the healthiest eater, but you know, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> you know, I can tell. I had um, stalked your Facebook page and I noticed you do a lot of basketball posts and things like that. So I can tell you, you really like basketball. Oh, yeah. Basketball. Listen, no, no disrespect to the sports at all. Uh-huh. Basketball is the best sport ever. ever <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on, man. Like, you've been a basketball game. Like, come on. You know, I used the to play. Energy. I used to play basketball. Believe See, it or not. You know, you know. I, yeah. and you know, Chicago got some of the best ballers. We know this. Yes, no, we know. Yeah, shout out to Chicago. We Illinois, we we nice, we nice. Yeah, but you love basketball so much, and you said that you just knew the NBA was not in your future. Why would you? No, say- I didn't. I just didn't feel it. Like you, you know, you know. So, mm-hmm. um, it seemed like you know, acting from theater to on camera went a lot better. I've mm-hmm. had like you know my bad years, and I had my really good years. Um, as actors, I'm sure a lot of people know. Um, you're getting told no every day. You're in that yeah. audition room every single day. So mm-hmm. um, you got to have some thick skin for that, you know. That's why I buy bottles of wines every week. <laughs> 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 so, you know, you, you know it's, it's challenging, just like everything else. Mm-hmm. Um, I felt like it was something that I actually love as well and something I can carry on to my kids. Basketball, too, but, you know, it's, creativity is, is, is nice. When you, when you yeah. can find somebody who can create, it draws you to them. You're drawing to creativity and you want to be around that, especially when it's good creativity. I've seen some good stuff out there, man, or talented. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah, you it. know, when I got into um, doing acting and things. I can never watch a TV show or a movie the same. Is that the yeah. same? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. When, once, you, once you become an, an, an actor or an inspiring actor or actress, everything you watch, you critique them. You, yes. you giving out number? Oh, that's a two out of ten. I don't know about that one. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nine right there. Oh yeah, that boy. Oh yeah, he good. He good. I'll be arguing with my friends like he the best actor right now. I'm telling yes. you, telling he's got range, you know. <laughs> so um, that's really how it uh how it be. You know, when you be actors, you know, and actresses, mm-hmm. you know, you you try to do the best you can. You try to you know create that character for people. I'm still learning, man. You know, my wife helps me out the most. Like. 
Mm-hmm. Shout out to my wife. If she, I'm pretty sure she's watching. So uh, mm-hmm. uh, I learned a lot through my wife. She's like my coach uh, for people who don't really know that. She helped me set up and everything, man. She, I'm like, she treat me like king. Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> do, so. That's what I'm talking about. And she definitely let me know if it's bad. It. She let me know if it's bad. She let me know if it's good. She critiqued good. Um, so, you know, I, I like it. I love it. It's, it's fun, you know, and I get to do it with my partner. Like, who, who, who wouldn't want to have fun with their partner and do something they love? Right. That's, exactly. that's love right there. Mm-hmm. And it's very important, too, you know, yeah, that you got to come. Now, is she an actress as well? She is. She is an actress. Uh, she finished up the Meisner courses. Uh, so she's very, uh, you know, she's pretty knee deep in there. <laughs> um, she, we just had a baby. I know a lot of people know. A lot of people know that. We just had a yeah. baby. So, uh, she's trying to crawl back in there. You know. Yes, I do know. You had a baby. Don't tell me. I think it was February 20th. Yeah. Two weeks yeah. Ago. Oh, yeah. Ask and y'all right sleep. that was February 10th. So you almost had a baby on your birthday. I almost did. I almost yeah. did. You know what? I would have liked it. That would have been a good birthday gift for me. That would yes. be a good birthday gift. I, I wouldn't have been mad at all. So <laughs> and it was a boy. And it was a boy. Yes, that would have been awesome. But you still share the same month. Right. So I share it with my daughter too. My daughter's birthday is February 3rd. Mine is mm-hmm. the 10th. My son is the 20th. Okay. So, the math is the 13th. I'm just saying. What? Girl, all right. <laughs> 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 February wow. is lit. Okay, it fourth is, is the it shortest is. month. Oh my goodness, that's the oh, coldest sweet. month too. Oof. Yes, yes. Man. How is little Zane doing? That's the newborn. How is Zane? Zane is doing good. Zane is doing good. He's doing good. I mean, he he he's your typical uh, infant. You know, we getting that little two hours of sleep, uh, down feed. You know how it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I my eyes open right now. I'm like, I'm, I'm woke. I'm woke. Because <laughs> yeah. you have three kids, two boys and a girl. Yep, three. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. I know your household is busy. Mm-hmm. busy. <laughs> yeah, it's, look, I just be looking at them like, damn, look what I done did, yo. I done had all these. Look, look at this. Look at this. Especially my daughter. You know, she too. Mm-hmm. She too. She run the house. She really do it. When people used to say that before, when I didn't have kids. When I used to hear people say, oh, my, my two-year-old daughter, my two-year-old running the house. I said, like, man, please. I ain't nobody going to run over me. And then look at me now. Look at, look at you now. now. Look, look at, at you now. now. Boy. And Boy. she the only girl. Ooh. And she the only girl. Oh, my goodness. Somebody come help. Get the grandmas over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Exactly. Exactly. And, uh, you know, we just want to say shout out to your wife, Alana, because I know being fresh off the the bed from having a baby yeah. and I always I have a two-year-old oh so you got oh okay so you on the terrible two line too huh I'm just I'm just saying she's she's doing her thing you know what I'm saying oh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, she's doing her thing <laughs> they do that man they do that they yeah. do that what I'm sorry 1071 all right so yeah let's get back into it <laughs> but that was my husband you yeah, know interrupting me but it's okay <laughs> Let's get back into your acting, right? I want to talk more about what you've been doing. Um, I know you say you did some print work for Garrett's Popcorn. Mm -hmm. I did did some print work for Garrett's. Um, That was my hot year. That was, I believe, two or three years ago, I believe. Mm -hmm. That was my hot year. I call call them the hot and the cold years. Uh, Mm -hmm. My hot years is when I'm like, book everything. Bow, bow. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on fire right now. And then my cold years, I'll just be like, I send me about 50 auditions. I ain't even hear nothing back from nobody. And it'd be like that. It'd be like that. So um, print ads, they come, they go. Um, I like print and commercial. Um, it's not like, I, you know, my, I don't think nobody wake up and be like, I'm going to land a national commercial. <laughs> somebody really wakes up like that. They do it. They they do it. They they do something cool and it, it it gets viral. But I don't think people really, you know, they when you look at Denzel, Michael B. Jordan, Lakeith, all those good actors, you, you're thinking like I won't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look at a Cheeto commercial and be like I won't be like that dude from the Cheeto. I won't be that dude. <laughs> but well, you'll take it though. I'll take it. You'll take it. But you'll you don't say that. You know. 
No, no, you don't. I get what you're saying. I absolutely get what you're saying. But you just, you know, just having your face out there, you just never know who see you, who you inspire. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless. Because, you know, True. my mom, clearly a toothpaste commercial inspired her to name me Marquita. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you just, the job, you just never know. You never what, know. What job is going to just make you feel like I'm going to do something different? <laughs> Now let's ask you, who would your dream collab be? Like if you had to work with anybody. If I had to right now, like uh yeah. collab as a fresh uh oh man, easy, Lakeith. Oh Lakeith, really? Hands down, he's my favorite actor. In my opinion, he's the best black male actor we have, black American. Uh I need yeah, he need his now. roses. He need his roses now. He need them. He need them. Dude is yeah. just marvelous, man. So if I had to pick somebody, I would want to definitely work with him. Yeah, and I gotta oh. knew you were gonna say that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah. Oh man. But um, why is it though? Well, my favorite thing about um Lakeith as an actor is his range, his ability to to when I see him on camera, I don't see Lakeith. I see another person every single time. There's some things that like. Denzel, he's like amazing. But when you see him, you know it's going to be Denzel. Like, you know, I told you I'm putting it down. Oh, I'm going to get it. It's going to be good. And you're going to get a good stellar performance. You're just going to get it. He's going to deliver it, even though he's going to sound the same. You know, I'm going to lay in that plane. I did it with all that drinking. Everything he's do, it's the same, but it's great, right? We, mm-hmm. we, it's great. But Lakeith, I mean, when he's in a role, Mm-hmm. You just don't, you don't know who it is. You forget yeah. that, like, oh, that's Lakeith. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. Films, he was good. Uh, uh, Judas, the new the new film. Mm-hmm. You know, um, uh, with the scary movie. What's the film called? I'm drawing a blank. Uh, um, Get Out. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Come on, yeah. man. The range. To answer that question, I got. I range. would love to work with somebody who can show me range. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, I agree. I agree a hundred percent. So, did you like the movie, The Judas? Oh yeah, I loved it. It was one of my favorite movies. I know. I know a lot of people have, you know, um, you know, their different opinions about it. Um, I realized, you know, after me and my wife, you know, we sit in the bed, we just be talking film afterwards for like thirty minutes about the <laughs> film, and uh, we were like, man, look at all these people mad on Facebook about. Not really telling them. They're like, oh, Fred, well, he did more than that. Like, yeah, no, they didn't show that. But the problem is the film is actually about the informant. Mm-hmm. It's about, you get to see what happened with the informant. Mm-hmm. So, you know, hopefully we actually get, you know, a film about Fred Hampton, you know, mm-hmm. himself. Like, I mean, you saw a little bit with his life, him having a child, him mm-hmm. and his life. I mean, granted, they have to show that, you know, that's kind of the meat, but to actually see deeper into what he did if you don't know the history of him you know uh making food i mean i showed a little glimpse of it like passing out food in the communities uh, yeah you know i would mm-hmm. love to see them feed that but you know it was good to know i didn't notice i had yeah. no idea i'm learning yeah. so much more now in my 30s than i did when i was in school you know so yeah. i agree yeah i agree well i um i love the movie too I mean, I it was one of my favorites. What did you say, Marbra? I still have to watch it. I haven't watched that. Oh, you got it. I know, I haven't. I you just said that out loud? <laughs> oh, it's I was good. Def- I got to watch Coming to America 2 first tonight. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, oh. you got a lot of movie catching up we to do. Like, I, I got to watch that, too. I, yeah. no, I heard mixed. It was mixed feelings on that one, too. So I got to watch it now for myself, too. Yeah. Really yeah. I started I watching it yesterday, but. I'm probably in that mixed feeling bunch because yeah yeah, yeah. but some people loved yeah. it you know I'm not gonna knock it some people absolutely loved it and again I, I've only watched the beginning of it so I can't give it a full credit but um right. what I did watch you know I'm I'm one of oh, those man. <laughs> uh, like, and I bought dang. some tacos and I'm ready to watch this tonight yeah you, know, you should watch it though definitely yeah watch it yeah you, you know what sure. with sequels to me they're hit or miss mm-hmm. like bad boys when they came back it was like whoa like they, yeah. they didn't mess that up they they made me want to be like hey y'all need to make some more of these <laughs> you know exactly. so it, sequels is really like yeah. you know hit or miss and i think 
what a lot of people don't understand with sequels, like the people who make the films, is people mm-hmm. want to see what they saw back in the 90s or back when it was original. They, we don't mm-hmm. like too much change up. When it's too much yeah. change up, mm-hmm. you don't get the same feeling anymore exactly now you gotta mm-hmm. create a whole new narrative and you may have even forgot it so mm-hmm. no, but it's, yeah so it's hit or miss yeah and i think you just hit it on the head about that that's how i feel about coming to america too um it is it steered away a lot from the original uh, yeah, that's right. yeah. that's right on that. but you know it is still a good movie i still suggest anybody and everybody watch it so don't take my word for it. Definitely watch it. But you all can also drop your comments about how you feel about it below. And please remember, if you have questions for Mr. Brandon, you can drop those below. Our lovely Marble Foster will read them off and he'll be happy to answer them. Right, Brandon? That's all right. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So tell us about one of your favorite projects you've done. My favorite projects I've done. Whew, I got a few. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't have a large role in Mark Harris' film, but um, I, it was a very small role um, with Drew Sador. And I can say I like the way he directs. So mm-hmm. um, I like um, his the feel of everything. But I would have to say my favorite film I've ever done was Pieces of David with mm-hmm. Lawrence. Um, mm-hmm. Lawrence is one of my favorite directors. I respect him so much as a father, as a director, as a film creator. Um, I had a scene where I was uh, choking my ex in the in the tub and I drowned her. Um, and the way he was <laughs> directing me, it was almost like, I was like, I know I looked at her, I was like, you did this before, man? <laughs> it was too good. It was too good. It was too good. Because, you know, I, I'm not a killer. So, you yeah. know, and what you do on camera is always a little bit different in real life. Because mm-hmm. the camera needs to portray it to look a little bit more realistic. So his guidance, um, I as an actor, I've actually learned from his guidance. Mm. Um, and, you know, sometimes when you work with people, you, you get the script, you do it, and you're like, I did it. But mm-hmm. then sometimes you get the script and you do it, and you're like, I learned. Mm-hmm. You, you know, there's difference, and that one stood out uh, the most. Yeah. Now, you were saying the scene that you did, you were actually choking someone in the tub. Far from your character, we can tell that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. a man of God. I'm, I'm not out here baptizing, trying to baptize them, but kill them in the water. Uh. Right. <laughs> so, you know, no people... baptism. You said what? This wasn't no baptism. I'm telling you. I know. You just... <laughs> this is pure death. <laughs> yeah. Pure death. But when you're offered a role that is so far off from your character, how do you prepare yourself for that? For those who may be presented with a role such as yours, that mm-hmm. it's like something that they're never going to do in real life. How do you prepare yourself to, to act that out? That's a really good question. When I first started, I didn't know what I was doing. I would honestly just read the script. And as actors, when you get a script and you don't have training, you just read the script. Mm-hmm. And then when you read it and memorize it and you, and you, and you don't like try to like learn the character or get a background or get a feel for it or even read the whole film script you got, and you just read that piece, you find yourself sounding just like what is written on it. So mm-hmm. now, well, I think, shout out to my wife. Um, when I get a script now, I actually try to, you know, read the pieces that they send. Like, I try to put myself in that position. Like, I had an audition about a drug dealer. Um, but I wanted to know what kind of drug dealer. Is, is he a Tommy? Is he a ghost? Is he mm-hmm. a snowball? Is he, is, he, is he smooth? Is he a Denzel? Is he loud? Is he quiet? Is he mm-hmm. monk-like? You know, mm-hmm. um, when you're playing a character, you you wanna you wanna create what you, something different, but you wanna feel that character. You wanna mm-hmm. be that character. So yeah. a lot of studying, um, writing things down, making yourself feel like you're that person. You gotta. I start even like I tell myself I'm I'm Clarence, right? And this in this mm-hmm. script I'm Clarence. So I call myself in my head all day Clarence. That's mm-hmm. how deep it is. I'm Clarence. I have a drug problem and that's how it's going to be. And that's how I'm going to live until I do this audition. <laughs> that's how I'm going to think. I'm going to write it down. Right. There you go. That's how you think you're living. You ain't going to live that. No, nah, right, right. I, I ain't selling no bricks for real. Right. No. Nah. <laughs> but in your head, you sold a million of them today. And in my head, okay. I sold. In my, in my head, I'm better than Snowfall. I'm better than Tommy. I'm better than Go. <laughs> <I'm> better. <laughs> there we go. Yay. <laughs> 
But yeah, I mean, that's pretty dope that you do that because I know a lot of actors and actresses, you know, they're going to be presented with roles that they're uncomfortable with. So you got to find a way that you can zone in and kill it, okay? Yeah. Even if it makes you uncomfortable. And it's so. challenging for me because I am a Christian. You know, I'm a mm -hmm. believer in God. So I've gotten scripts and me and my wife have looked at it and it was like, are you comfortable with being like new? And we look at each other, we like, oh, there's going to be something else, huh? So then we get, we, we get, we get to the script. We like, oh yeah, they want me to turn around. I'm, I'm going to swing about a little bit. Then, uh, yeah. <laughs> she like, you cool with it? I'm like, I don't know. You straight with it? <laughs> I let her answer it first. But no, like, you know what? Um, it's, I, you know, it's, it's difficult because you want to be, I mean, I got like a mom, man. I got a daughter, I got a son. So for me, I ain't gonna just take any old role out here and just do any old thing. I, I can't, I can't do it. Uh, my soul wouldn't let me do it. So it's like for me, I like cleaner roles. I like more challenging roles. I like the psych roles. You know, um, it's not available as much as I like. Um, yeah. But uh, I generally try my best to be that character and uh, take my beliefs and myself aside and say, this is the character and this is the role you need to make them believe it. And, you know, yeah. some things are harder, easier for other people who are single with no <laughs> kids versus when me, when I have like a family of kids, I have to be thinking ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, like, will this come back on me mm -hmm. will somebody re what's is somebody gonna repost me yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and tear me apart like you you think about this stuff now because it didn't used mm -hmm. to be like that you would freely mm -hmm. do something and you'd be like all right i'm, I'm gonna do it and and be cool i'm just it's straight but now you gotta really think like you gotta think like am i gonna be canceled uh <laughs> you're gonna be boxed what? into this certain character right like are, yeah. am i gonna be judged like mm -hmm. listen i love people i don't, don't want to hurt nobody feelings out here man yeah because <laughs> once know? it's out there it's out there it's out there you can Forever. never man you see what happened yeah. to kevin hart i mean you, you know <laughs> you, know, you, you know. <laughs> what you do it i mean it's just rough yeah yeah absolutely yeah. but you know you just have to pick what fits you best. So, you know, that's the advice. I, I take that from you any day. Now, let's ask you this question. Okay. Hmm. What character have you played thus far? Because you've done 20 plus, you know, projects. Right. That you feel fits you the best, like that you relate to the most. Hmm. Hmm. That I, man, that's a good one because I feel like all the <laughs> all the ones that I've uh, played are really different out of character. I wouldn't say mm -hmm. none of them because mm -hmm. most everyone is a uh, a husband who cheated, uh, a boyfriend, uh, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? A a uh, a, a ex who was crazy. So I'm not none of those things. So I probably would say anything. I'm looking. And I'm probably waiting for a film that I can do and be actually natural at because mm -hmm. I am that way. I'm sure it'd be easier for me if I got it, but opportunity has not knocked on the door for me on that one yet. Mm. Well, you know what? That's when your content creator side of you Bingo. comes to play, right? Bingo. Yeah. So tell us more about that project that you're doing your, um, that's coming out this May. Yes, May. This is my favorite uh, out of anything that we're doing right now uh, with, with me and my family. Um, mm -hmm. Me and my wife created a, a, a online show called The Blab Box. Um, the my Blab wife, Box. It's called The Blab Box. Right, right. So I know like my wife, she wanted to do something on YouTube. She's like, well, we should do something. And I'm like, I don't want to do anything because I don't want to just be on here. Right. And she's like, OK. <laughs> and we'll go back and forth about some things. And I'm like, listen, for me, I'm also an occupational therapist. So for me, if I'm not helping nobody, I'm not going to sit out in front of the camera. I, I have to feel some sort of like, you know, presence where I help somebody or I'm, it's, it's, it's a reason for it. I don't want to be on the camera for a reason. Every single day, trying mm -hmm. to get you, I'm probably tired, hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I just don't want to do it. I got to have something to draw me into it. We, yeah. It took us probably three years to really sit down and be like, 
this is it. Mm. Um, what we decided to do was create a show. At first, we, we called it Human to Human, which is crazy at first. Um, mm. Human to Human, because we wanted to like connect with people on a different level. We wanted to show people who are married, relationships, or even if you're single, we wanted to, on the show, show you something new that you could learn from every single day. So every mm -hmm. day that you watch this show, you're going to learn something you either never knew or you didn't quite understand. And mm -hmm. at the same time, it'll be some comedic relief because it's really us. It's not like we are reading a script. Um, it's yeah. stuff that we went through that we can share with everybody else, health-wise, mentally-wise, relationship-wise, the whole mm -hmm. period there. So we're going to show it. Um, we have some animators, uh, Tyler. Um, shout out to Tyler. He's our Hey, animator. Tyler. Hey, Tyler. Yep, he's our um, really good guy. He's helping us out. So even though, like, the show is, like, uh, we're talking about everything, you as we're talking, you will see animated characters to break down what we're saying. Uh -huh. So, you you know, it, it's it's very engaging, but at the same time, you're going to learn something with every topic. We have a topic for children. Mm. One week, full week of just kids, period. Some things the parents probably never even knew. Never knew. <laughs> and then we got another week where we just talk about, like, sex and marriage. Mm. It's something that has to be talked about. And if people understood the power of sex and marriage and what it really means, I think marriages would be a lot easier and they would last. But... You know, a lot of people, they don't talk about it. I don't know why. You know, they just handle it their own way. Mm -hmm. When you do that, you kind of crash. So yeah, every True. week is like, a, you know, a learning something you can refer to. And we also have, you know, uh, we'll, in the future, we'll be having guests Wise Wednesdays where we bring uh, a physician, a doctor, a nurse, or somebody from a different country, if we can, to give us something to show you that you don't know. We don't know everything else. We just know what's in America a lot of times. We don't know our full resource power, our full mm -hmm. knowledge. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what the Blab Box is about. We're gonna be blabbing about everything that's gonna help you. I love it. Oh. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait. Yeah. Now, how long yeah. will your episodes be? Like, would it be like 30 minutes, hour? How long would your episodes be? So to start, we want to do 10 to 15 minutes because the introduction will be short. We want to be able to actually get the crowd of people first so they can like, kind of see. And then we'll start expanding it as uh, the views grow. We'll expand. Uh, we'll start adding the Wise Wednesdays. And uh, we got future. We got so many future plans for this and a break off. Like I personally would like to start my own branch off and YouTube page. And I like to bring back hip hop. And yeah. do like a figure in the basement was I had my own platform of artists, singer, gospel singers, hip hop, country, everything. And mm -hmm. I want to be able to showcase it and be able to put people on. So it's all about help. If you're not helping people, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah, that is absolutely true. I agree with you so much. Like we have a lot in common as far as that goes. I love to help people too. And I've actually thought about, well, I actually have, I have a, um, to business partners well we do music showcase to get people known you know so i think that what you're doing is going to be amazing i cannot wait and the yeah. animated part of it is so creative oh you yeah know? the animated part we're going to use that for a while for a couple of years and then we'll actually start filming like um ourselves me and my wife will actually film instead of using animators in the future we'll use ourselves as short comedy clips to show you uh how it really is <laughs> yeah but for now, right. um, animation will be our thing uh, we really are excited about it again it took me about three years to finally find that niche um mm -hmm. and now we're here so i i can't wait i'm excited yeah i wanted to bring that up too because a lot of people think that they can just do whatever they think of and just start it immediately it takes time and preparation it to does. actually execute something that's going to last and something that's going to be successful you got to put thought into it it cannot happen overnight it can't oh i'm gonna wake up today and i want to do this youtube channel and it's going to be amazing no you have to really put everything into place so i appreciate mm -hmm. that you even mentioned that y'all have been working on it for three years yes we have it's it's art Jeez. it's art it, that to me it's art 
you know, yeah. and my wife is a really good artist. So mm -hmm. I feel like I'm a decent artist. So I feel like we wanted to, uh, and I wanted to help people. I was like, if I can't help people, I mean, what am I doing just on the camera? Like, <laughs> you know what right. I mean? I mean, I'm just sitting here. Yeah. So for us, like our creative and our artistic ways will blend to help people out there. That's awesome. That's dope. That is so dope. You have any questions yet, Miss Marber? Yes, I do. Yes. Um, Brandon, with you being an occupational therapist, mm -hmm. a dad, and a spouse, how do you, and an actor, how do you balance all of this? It's your partner. It's, it's, it's your partner. It's purely your partner. A man really can't balance everything unless he have a good partner. You think you can, but you can't. So for me, marriage was like the winner for me. It's the, it's, I feel rich, you know, realizing I create my own happiness, rich. That's what that means. I realized I was rich the moment I got married and I learned that like this person's helping me and she's not selfish and she's trying to really push me forward. Versus when you're by yourself, you have to push yourself forward, which you should already do. But some people don't know how to do that. So yeah. leave that to the other person. <laughs> so yeah. in that, we will, we will talk about that in the blab box too. So we'll talk about, that'll be something we'll talk about is how did we coexist with having a newborn, a two-year-old and a four-year-old? How do we coexist with going to work? And she's a stay-at-home mom. So get that. Um, yeah. <laughs> we're not both working. She's a stay-at-home mom. Um, we sound very traditional, but we love it. It's like, well, who wanted to go to work? I told my wife, listen, <laughs> look, if you become popular and a good actress, I'm done. Do you. <laughs> I'm staying at home. I will take care of these kids. I'll make you tacos, breakfast, eggs. You can have whatever you want. Have it. <laughs> Who don't want to stay at home? I, love I don't really it. understand it. I don't understand the ginger rolls. I don't really understand none of this stuff. If it was me, there's nothing masculine about, uh, demasculine about it, like, Get them coins, boo, so I can stay yeah. at home. <laughs> yeah. That's how I look at it. So for yeah. us, um, I go to work. We, we were really communicative. I mean, it's, it's pure communication, man. Mm -hmm. You don't got time to be mad at stuff. Like, yeah, we have our disagreements, but you got to move forward. You got to move forward. We don't go to bed mad at each other. We, mm -hmm. we check in with each other to make sure, like, are you cool? You know what? I said that. I shouldn't have said that. That's not the way I'm in. You, you, at the end of the night, no matter how tired we are, we could be with our eyes closed like this. Baby, were you upset when I said, I am so sorry. I did not mean to do that, baby. And then the man talking, one of us fall asleep. We don't even take a person because we're so tired. Because the simple fact that we knew like we cared about each other. So even if she fell asleep on me talking to her, I know she cared. You know, I am mad. Yeah. <laughs> so we yeah. get through it. We get through it that way. It, it's difficult. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and say, like, I'm going to work all day. Come on. I still have to potty train and parent and help, too. I can't let her do it by herself. Right. And then I cook, you know, a lot. And then I exercise, too. So mm -hmm. it's like I dedicate an hour. So when I'm auditioning, you know, and I finally land like a good role that I really like and I'm really out there. I can tell people like, I really worked for this shit. <laughs> yeah. You know, like I really did. Like I really sat down and worked for this, man. Like this is, mm -hmm. this is not easy, but I love it. That's the good part. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm rich right now. That's how I feel. I created my own happiness. So I don't have no complaints. I love that. that is awesome. Yeah. yeah, I love that you keep saying I'm rich in that manner, you know? Yeah. That's that's great. And even the fact you put on Facebook, you just sat in your kitchen and just thought about how grateful you are for your, your family and things like that. I was like, that is so sweet. Yeah, I was just in the kitchen. I, I had just finished cooking. I was washing the dishes. They were in there. My wife was upstairs. And, you know, we have been hit with pandemic and problems and financial problems. And then I'd be thinking to myself, like, you know, I am really lucky. <laughs> yeah. I'm really lucky. I've been through some stuff before. And, you know, it's good for people to fail and go through stuff. You need that. You need it bad. Yeah. Because when you finally do get into a good place, you just, you're not angry. You're so, you're so relaxed. You're so relaxed because you've been through it already, you know? Mm -hmm. so God yeah. makes warriors. So Yeah. You got to have the bad to appreciate the good. There you do. So. You got it. Man. You got to. There's no All other right, way. So, 
Yeah, I got a quote that you said, and I want you to explain it a little bit for me. I'm going to read your quote, okay? You said, I set long and short-term goals throughout my life. I always have a plan, and I never have a plan B Mm -hmm. because it distracts me from plan A. I say, you know what? That's really smart. Mm -hmm. What what made you want to say that? That's a quote from Bill Smith, by the mm-hmm. way. And let me tell you why I like that so deeply, because when you start planning A, B, C, and D, you actually look at them other goals and you don't focus on the first one. You look and make sure that those will be okay in case you fall. But see, mm-hmm. the thing is, if you don't fall, you don't know how bad it hurts. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I, if I go there and check all my padding now, I'm at the cliff, I'm, I'm at a small little cliff here, I'm trying to put all my padding here. I'm spending all my time padding my fall. Mm. But I'm, I'm not even over there trying to figure out, like, do I even have to jump and do that? Maybe there's another place. route. But I, I spent so much time trying to pad my fall to make sure I don't hurt. But yeah. see, I learned through experience, like, it's fall. Just fall. Mm. Fall, yeah. get back up. Get back up. You fail. Wipe yourself off and do it all over again. I love it. I love it. Key right there. Get back up. Get Get back back up. Because I mean, it makes a lot of sense to me. If you're sitting here worried about Plan B, C, and D, like you said, how can you focus on Plan? So I mean, I love it. I love it. So before we get out of here, because we're running out out of time, I like to play games with our guests, right? Okay. Okay. So hopefully you don't fall. No, no. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. If I do, I'm going to get back up, put that armor on. Let's do it. There you go. There you go. There you go. So I'm going to play um, Name That Movie, right? Okay. Oh, boy. I don't know how okay. good you are with certain scenes from different movies, but we're going to find out. Okay. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. All right. So the first one is, ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Name oh that my. movie. Oh my god, I should know this. Oh goodness. All right, ain't nobody come to see you, Otis. <laughs> I know it, I know it, but I can't figure out the name. I hate this. I know it. Uh um, that's right. That's all right. I'm not even gonna tell you. I'm gonna let you think about it. We'll go back to that one. I'm gonna let you think uh, about it. Let me think about that one. Let me sit on it. I'm gonna sit on Otis. it. All right. <laughs> Next one. Ain't that much dirt in all Louisiana. Get out the damn tub. It's not color purple. Hold on. (laughs) (laughs) Um, You looking for that plan B now? (laughs) I'm not. (laughs) I'm looking for options. Now, it's clearly Southern. So let me break. Let me do process elimination. (laughs) Clearly Southern. Clearly. Clearly Clearly. a black film. Definitely. Um. Girl, let me just start naming it. Soul Food. Uh, nope. Uh, 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 <laughs> nope. Oh. All right, I'm giving you the answer to that one. That one is Eve's Bayou. You oh ever watch that? That's my fa- one of my favorite ones was Samuel what Jackson. What do you mean? That's one of your favorite oh. movies. With Samuel Jackson? Yeah. Oh, man. One of I don't know. I, you know what? Listen, it's Daddy Brain, y'all. I ain't going to get none of these. Keep going. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, have, right, I have faith in this one. This one right. can win you back your black card. Okay, let's go. All right. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared too. I'm like, oh boy. Okay, you got this one though. You got it. See, Daddy, Sinner Have Souls too. You say say that again. See, Daddy, Sinners Have Souls too. Sinners Have Soul too. Is it a souls. preacher's wife? Hey, listen. You, look. <laughs> <laughs> See, Daddy. <laughs> Sinners have souls, too. Have, is it a Tyler Perry film? No, I wish it was. I love him so much. Mm, I just don't know. You're going to have to take my black card. It's going to take it, y'all. I can't play Black card is revoked. I'm sorry. I can't play spades. I don't know these movies. Oh, you got this one. Oh, you got this one. Okay, You're let's dad. go. You are a dad. You were born in the 80s. You have this. I have, I have faith. Where your wife at? Bring up. She downstairs. She finish. probably yeah. She probably be now. She probably be looking at me like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She like, oh. Lord, she probably like, God, boy, you didn't know that. All right. All right, you got this one. 
We don't die. We multiply. Hey. Baby's kids. See? Ain't no way. Well, I got kids, so listen. <laughs> Look, that's it's relatable. Yes, that's why I said you're a dad. <laughs> you were born in the 80s. You have to have this one. 80s, yeah. Right. 80s, 90s, baby. All day. Yes. All right, one more. It's pretty... Uh, um. The words will let you know exactly what it is. Let's see. Because I don't know. You got me scared. <laughs> it says, Baby, I'm going to sign your pity on a runny kind. Baby, I'm going to sign your... Is this recent? No. I'm Say going to sign time. your pity on a runny kind. Girl, I, I don't know. I can't. I can't you know what it is, Marvin? Nope. She don't know. Take her black card, too. We got two cars. Booty tang, people. Booty tang. Booty tang. Oh, with the belt. Come out. Come out. The dude that put the, this. You know what the dude that slap you in the butt? Yeah. And then go back yes. in every hole in the socket. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was a bad dude. I used to try to do that in school. I would try to rip my belt off and pow. And try to. It, it didn't never go back in there though. Yeah, it, it, didn't, it didn't go back in there. I'm mad you <laughs> tried. I am so mad you tried. But you know what? You got one out of a hundred, right? <laughs> And I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of myself. Look at this. Look. <laughs> proud of myself. Yes. You rocking the on the scene shirt. You look fantabulous, uh, by thank the way. You, ladies. Thank you. And thank you. For absolutely. Absolutely. But we enjoy. We are at our nine o'clock hour. We have enjoyed you so very much. Um, please let all of the audience know how they can find out about Brandon, your social media handles and more. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, if you don't have it already, I'm at Brandon M. Smith on my Facebook. Um, I actually at Brandon Smith for the other page because my other page is starting to fill up quite a bit there. Um, my Instagram is Brandy32, B-R-A-N-N-I-E-3-2. That's my basketball number. Mm -hmm. um, you can reach me there. I'm trying to get more savvy with Twitter. You guys can follow me. I'll follow back. I'm the guy that will follow every single person back. So yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm here to help. So follow me. I'll follow you back, and hopefully, come May, I can give you something that can last you a lifetime. Absolutely. How can they get to watch that in May? So in May, we're going to set up with YouTube and you'll also be able to see it through Facebook. It'll link and then you can watch some on Instagram, like some snippets. We'll take some snippets. We'll be posting snippets of small little stuff so you guys can click the link and follow. Please follow. Like I said, we're out here trying to help people. That's all our platform is about, marriage, family, and help. So mm -hmm. if you feel like you could use any type of help from therapist to mental to physical, um, medical-wise, uh, we're here. And we're going to yeah. post some of the most outrageous, craziest things you have never known or seen. Ooh, I can't so, wait. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. To I know. I'm all excited. Oh, yeah. I'm sitting here like, hurry up, May. We just <laughs> got in Yeah, we ready. Yes. Awesome. Well, I definitely enjoyed talking to you, Brandon. Um, I know Marbra has had a great time talking to you as well. Is there any pardon words that you would like, Miss Marbra? Yeah, well, um, Continued success. Congratulations on the addition to the family. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, we'll see you on power. I'm, I don't care. I'm telling everybody I'm going to be on power. Right. <laughs> on power. Yeah, yeah. everybody want to be on power. I, I, I want to be on power. Power. You know, I want to. I want to ride in the car with Tommy. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad Tommy is back. I love me. Right. Me too. I'm excited for it. I'm excited. So I'm yeah, yeah. Here we're all gonna be on there, okay? I'm claiming it for all of us. I'm right. receiving it <laughs> from you. We're gonna be on there, even yeah. Rolando. Rolando, you are gonna be on there too? Yes. Hey, <laughs> yeah, we're that's gonna be dope. But I can't wait for all of us to get on there. Yeah. Hey, Amen. We claim it. Thank yes. you. Thank you, Brandon, for um, gracing my platform. And thank you for having me. Thank you for choosing me to come out and speak and talk. Like, that's pretty dope. It was very yeah. dope, Marquita, in Pieces of David. <laughs> oh, yeah. What'd you say now? I loved you in Pieces of David. That was a good movie. You got to check that out. It, it, it's, it is. It's actually a really good film. It really is. Tell everybody how they can get to see it. Yeah, contact Lawrence. Um, He has it. Um, 
I will contact him. I can post a link and see if I can get a link as well coming up here in the next week. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll go ahead and post a link on my page so you guys can check out that film. I'll also go ahead and post a scene from me on that film this coming week so people can actually get a chance to see how I drowns the uh, woman. Wait a minute. Um, Didn't you send me that link? Um, the I think I did. There was a, like an argument back and forth. There was a link for. Hold up. I thought yeah, I can you share the screen so we all can see it? <laughs> so let me find that. Jeez, you want to hold on to all the treasures over there, Marbra? Hold on, I got to share. Yeah, them. yeah. I think this. I think I may have sent her a scene where uh we were actually the breakup scene. Well, we gonna actually. find it. Hold on, we gonna yeah. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, because I want to see. We all about scenes. I had to hold. I had to take my phone off because it was about to die. So I'm still doing the girl. That's me too. You see, I'm over here holding my IG live going on. So I don't wanna. I know they must be like, look, it's all. <laughs> all right, you sent it to my Gmail, right? Mm hmm. Do me a favor. Can you text it to me real quick? I believe I can. Let's see if I can do Thanks this. To me real quick, and then I'm gonna send it to. Then I could pull it up on my. Thing. I am having right. some fun tonight. Here we go. All right, this is uh pretty quick here too. Let's see. Um, share share video. Get it. Um, it here we go. So everybody can see it. There we go. Okay, here we go. All right, give me one second and let me pull that up. Let me share Whoa. your screen. Hold on. Let me make sure my phone. Okay, give me one sec now. All right, let me go to my phone coming up here. One second, gotta do a little copy and paste here. All right, here we go. Give me one second. I'm about to start it. Sorry, y'all on IG. I have to hold. <laughs> I know they're like, oh, if Margaret don't get that phone. All right, pulling up, pulling up. Can y'all see it? Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm seeing your email. Nope, it's not pulling it. Really? Nope, it's with not pulling it up. So you done with him now? Him. You. I can hear it though. I could hear it. Let me see. Me? Well, the people on live can see it. Nah, -uh, because I'm looking on live. I can't see Correct. it. Really? I've done everything uh -huh. for you. Mm -hmm. David, I told you when we first met, I wanted us to have fun and not move too fast or take things too seriously. I, look what you've done. You've basically moved yourself in here. You're telling people we're boyfriend and they girlfriend. I didn't ask for that. Nope, can't see it. Can't see it yet. Nope, not yet. Okay. You but, you know, we'll just share the link. So and you know, yeah, and I, I'm going to post it this week. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll probably go ahead and post it Monday. For everybody and you guys can share it out and then you guys can check out that scene and then i'll also try to see if i can get the link to see if you guys can watch that full film as well okay yeah please do because i am interested in seeing it so yeah let's do it yeah. well thank you again brandon smith for yeah. gracing us on the scene with marble foss and your girl marquita spears please come back and see us again we hope to work with you soon. We're all going to be on power. Yep. Amen. Mm -hmm. We'll see each and other again. That's right. We're going to yes. <laughs> <We're laughs> all work together. We're going to be here. We're working it. Yes. So thank you again, my brother. And we will catch you next time. Thanks, sis. I appreciate it. Catch y'all next time. All right. All right. So everyone who's watching, thank you guys for joining Marbra and myself on this episode of On the Scene. We had an amazing time with Rolando and we had an awesome time with Brennan. I mean, it was so great. Um, make sure you like, follow, and share this live. 
make sure that you tell all your friends. If you want to get an interview with Miss Martha Foster, make sure you inbox her. She'll be happy to accept that. And um, yeah, if you want to follow me, you can find me at Marquita Spears on Facebook, Marquita Epps on Instagram, and Auntie Kita, K-I-T-A on TikTok, if you like a little comedy. So again, everybody have a wonderful Friday evening. No drinking and driving. Be grateful, be great, and be beautiful. Beautiful. Peace. Peace. In the Middle East. <laughs>